Why, good morning, fellow M car. Look at that. It's an E36 C3M in Estro. I don't like the purple I tint. One. I yeah, it's, it's a Mercedes with purple tint. An AMG badge, but it's not an AMG car. It's a CL500. Bitch. It's an E46 330 with a carbol, five air hood, a six speed manual transmission, face lifted, aftermarket wheels. But that, uh, remember that M3 I saw last week? I thought it was this guy because I hadn't seen this car for a while, but I guess they are different. Okay, classes are done. Hardest day of the week, longest day of the semester so far is in the books. Everything went pretty well. It's 6.28, just had a short conference call with Alex and Colton on the phone, that was interesting. And um, been working on the car, did the normal full clean wheels, paint, glass, exhaust. This part is not normal though. So a long time ago, not really that long ago, maybe a year, year and a half, two years ago, these are the wipers here, obviously. Um, the hinge here, where they don't come up like the Honda wipers. They come out 90 degrees from the uh, windshield for blade replacement or cleaning or service, whatever. These only come up, if you're familiar with BMWs, they come up about this far, maybe 20, 30 degrees. Uh, and this little hinge here is exposed metal and uh, is originally painted black, but it wears off. So anyways, it wore off, and I painted that one before. This one wasn't too bad. It was the center one that I never did because I couldn't reach it because I didn't want to lean on the car. So I taped both of them off with uh, masking tape, wide two, two inch masking tape, and then I did all of this to avoid overspray. Because paint overspray is not good for this, not good for clear coat. Um, that's what clay does. You can see how much overkill I did. But um, now they're just both drying, so I'll let them dry. Probably hit it with a second coat and that'll be good for another few years. I am so anal that I am painting an area half the thickness of my pinky so it will look better. Oh, look at that. That is baby skin smooth. Perfect. Good morning to you. Look where we are. We're in the garage where I've spent several hours working today. Guess what? Doing the normal stuff. Wipers are done. Actually looks really good. I'm sure once they go up into their service position when I clean the windshield, uh, it will slowly go back to what it was. But it's this little strip right there. Sorry, the flip sucks at night. That one over there. But yeah, you know, minor improvement. So it's really clean. I'm happy with that. It is nice out here. It's a little cool. It's probably 62, 64 degrees, but that's not bad at all. Nice and crisp at night. I just don't like when it gets down below like 55, then it's it's pretty chilly. But can you see that kind of like right there? That's all the light pollution from Streetsboro. It's nasty. So today's been a really productive day. Got into Kent, got a lot of work done there today. Came home, got a lot of work done here. Hung out with Rosvon a little bit. Watched later playlist. Two videos, we have two. I haven't had it at zero since before. It was two days before. Timmy Fest. Timmy Fest was June 8th. It's been over uh, three months. So finally tonight, unless there was something big uploaded in the last hour, I'm going to get that to zero, which I like. I like that kind. Less obligations. Also today, I got done uh, all the emails. So they're at zero. So that's like really clean, really good progress with that. Yards are done. Car is clean. We have two classes tomorrow. We'll get in, get those done, get out, and then it's the weekend. Uh, Saturday, I think the weather, Friday, the weather goes to shit Friday. It gets back down in the 60s as highs um, and rain. Now, let me ask you guys' opinion. So the iPhone 5S, unavailable for pre-order, as you know, availability in stores Friday the 20th, which is probably tomorrow if you're watching this Thursday. Um, what is the best way for me to get that? I'm looking for a 64 gig AT&T white, black, gold, I don't know. I do kind of know, but I'll let you guys guess. Um, what are my options? Well, I can go to an AT&T store, I can go to an Apple store, or I can order it online and wait for it to ship. If I order it online, it probably won't ship till the following Monday and arrive late next week. It's not ideal. I'll do it if I have to, but I don't want to. I'd like to get my hands on it sometime Friday. So that means I need to go to an Apple store. It opens at 8 a.m. 
Uh, what happens if I get there at 10? Is there a line out in the parking lot? What happens if I get there at 6, two hours before it opens? Is there a line in the parking lot? I don't know. I've always been the guy that pre-orders it, it shows up on the porch release day, go out to my porch, there's no line on my porch. I pick it up, I unbox it, I activate it, and it's good to go. Uh, that's not going to happen this year. So if I go to the store, Apple Store opens at 8, AT&T Store, I don't know when they open, uh, 8 or 10 in the morning. What is my best bet? What's your guys' experience? What's your recommendation to get my hands on it on the 20th? I also hear that there's low availability of the 5S, that they're making more 5Cs and they're sure as hell advertising the 5C. I don't know if I've seen a 5S commercial. They're advertising technology that they came out with a year ago. It's $100 cheaper, so I guess they're, they're hoping to sell those in volume, but I want a 5S that has the fingerprint sensor, it's faster, better camera, all that stuff. All that stuff. So leave your comments with that. I'm going to go in, uh, do the rest of the work I have to do tonight, get to bed, get up tomorrow, and uh, wrap up the week. Oh yeah, and um, iOS 7 was, uh, was released today. I I've had the Goldmaster on my iPhone since it came out, what, a week ago? Uh, it's the same build of the final release, so we won't have to change that. The iPad, I tried to update to the Goldmaster, it failed and put itself in DFU mode, and I would have had to restore, and it wouldn't let me restore to the GM, so I just kind of put it in my drawer and waited till today. So I have installed the final version on that. I just finished syncing about half my stuff, about 10,000 photos and 40 apps to it or so, so I've got 4 gigs left. If I put my music on it, I have 25 gigs of music, so I wouldn't even be able to put it on. I use my iPhone for that anyways. So the iPad is in good shape. So that's going to be it. Leave me your comments. I'll probably reply to those for my boring as hell history class tomorrow. So I'll speak with you then. Good night.